I have a bunch of Django projects running on a Raspberry Pi and I wanted to make a few videos showing what the process is. Creating a new Django project for me is a bunch of manual steps uh, and that's what I'm going to cover in this video. After the project is deployed, I push to the main branch and the changes are going to be up to date. I use the Django admin command to create a new project. I also initialize a Git repository and configure my requirements. I do just a few small changes in the settings file to make the site a little bit more secure. For this example today, I'm just going to create a single view, single index view that just returns a hello world string. And here we are, we have it working locally. So it's going to be time to get everything ready for production. I uh, first I create a gunicorn conf command and two other commands are run.sh and update.sh. Uh, these are these commands are used to start for starting and updating the application. After that, I create a deploy.yaml GitHub action, and this file is basically what makes the deployments happen. Okay, once everything is ready, I commit. Uh, the changes and I go to GitHub to create the repository that's going to be used for this uh, project. There we go, all the code is in the project and now it's time for me to set up some secret keys so that the GitHub action gets access to my Raspberry Pi. I do a git clone onto the Raspberry Pi, I set up the environment and then I have to do a few things. So the first thing is to create a new Nginx Conf. Uh, I use the example.conf uh, as a um, template. After that, it's time to configure the system CTL service that is going to make sure that uh, Gen the GUnicorn process uh, runs uh, when the Raspberry Pi starts. So here it is, we reload the system CTL daemon, uh, we enable the new service and then we start it. Uh, I of course forgot to install the requirements so the thing did not start correctly the first time but after this was sorted out everything was working. Now it's time to generate the SSL certificate using a cert bot uh, from Let's Encrypt. Of course the first time that I tried this it didn't work because I forgot to add the DNS record into Cloudflare. Uh, but once the records were added, uh, the SSL certificate got generated correctly. It's the site should already be up and running, but it is not because of the bug that I introduced earlier. So I'm now trying to fix it. I of course do another typo while trying to fix it. So the problem is still not fixed at all. And I have to do a little bit more debugging and now the site should be running. But of course, there was yet another typo that I made in the allowed hosts here. Uh, and now I'm going to just commit this change and push it to GitHub. And then the GitHub action that we uh, configured earlier is going to run. Uh, and hopefully, yeah, everything succeeded. And now the page actually works. So. There you have it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, the GitHub repository is public. I'll be creating more videos to show how all of this works. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.